Hurricane Katrina hit the Gulf Coast in August of 2005. In May of the next year, volunteers from Good Shepherd were on the scene, showing the love of God in tangible ways. We've been there every year since, most recently this past March when we helped build three new homes in Slidell, Louisiana. But we've always had a heart here for outreach at Good Shepherd, which is boldly shown by the fact that 29.7% of our $1,109,000 budget is designated for outreach ministries, a percentage that is unparalleled in our synod. So whether it's by working in Over the Rhine to make repairs at Tender Mercies or supporting our sister church, First Lutheran, through fundraising events, Good Shepherd is reaching out for the sake of Christ. The Good Shepherd Nursery School is unrivaled for providing a quality, affordable education in a Christian atmosphere. When we first began our ministry with Adopt-A-Class, Taft Elementary was on the brink of being closed due to poor performance and low enrollment, but now it's a model of success and we'd like to think that we had something to do with its miraculous turnaround. We helped 150 families in last year's Christmas program and brought Christmas joy to many dozens of children through Operation Christmas Child. The Abbas family, the fourth family to reside in Hope House, is making wonderful strides towards self-sufficiency and, by the way, worshipped with us this past Easter. $19,200 in funds and amazing leadership from some 40 volunteers makes Good Shepherd the major supporter of Cincinnati Habitat's Eastside Coalition. We will be building our 39th, 40th, and 41st houses this year. Through their work with Interfaith Hospitality Network, over 30 of our members provide homeless families in our community with shelter, food, and friendship. Last year, we hosted Reverend Andrew Gulla, the Bishop of the East of Lake Victoria Diocese of the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Tanzania. Through your generosity, we presented him with almost $20,000 that will build two wells this year, and also some 200 dresses that little girls will be able to wear at the well dedication ceremonies. Our young people are also involved in outreach, not the least of which is collecting food and money for hunger organizations on Super Bowl Sunday. Our biggest step in faith, however, involved taking leadership for the Lutheran Campus Ministry at the University of Cincinnati, a ministry we lovingly refer to as The Edge at UC. Under Pastor Alice's leadership, that ministry that began with nothing now averages 17 at Sunday night worship, 24 students went on the Gulf mission trip, and dozens of students are regularly engaged in life at the campus house. But let's let one of those students explain why The Edge is so very special. When I, I came to The Edge house about um, uh, a few months ago in the fall, and, and what I like about it is I found a lot, of, a lot of friends here, and they took me in when really almost no one else would, and uh, I found almost a replacement family, and that's, that's really what I like about The Edge house. Some UC students have been worshiping at our Kenwood campus, and others, who are new to the Christian faith, are inquiring about being baptized. All in all, it's been a gratifying new way of doing outreach. This summer, we'll again reach out to the community as well as our own children by offering an uplifting vacation Bible school, yet one more way that we endeavor to make Christ known. But again, we just don't do outreach locally. Right now, seven members of Good Shepherd are visiting St. Johannes Lutheran Church in Malchen, Germany, working to strengthening our partnership with Lutherans in that part of the world and learn from one another about mission. And we also help support a missionary in Tanzania, Nancy Stevenson, who teaches English at Makamura University. Yes, outreach is in our DNA at Good Shepherd, but this coming year will present its challenges. We receive generous support for campus ministry from some non-members and sister churches, but other funding from the ELCA and a bequest will no longer be available. Our total income this year, therefore, will need to grow by about $45,000 just in order to continue our current level of outreach ministry. That would amount to an average of $34 more per baptized member per year, or $65 per week, just in order to maintain where we are. Is it worth the equivalent of a cup of coffee per week at McDonald's to keep our outreach ministry strong? Next week we'll hear more about the Give Plus One Challenge, a challenge for each of us to increase our giving to God's work through the church by 1% of our income. Please give that thought your prayerful consideration this week and think about our outreach ministry too as you enjoy that cup of coffee. Thanks for your attention and all you do to keep our outreach ministry so vibrant.